This is a quick demonstration of UT man doing a trade test for ultrasonic technicians. As a quick reminder of UT man, we've got a 3D image of a pipe. We can see the yellow 45 degree probe being moved around the circumference of the pipe. We change to a 70 or 45 or zero. And we'll go back to the 60. And we can see the probe in the 3D image here, moving backwards and forwards and around the pipe. And when a defect is detected, we can see we can see it on the A scan. Here on the A scan, we can see the defect being detected. We'll shrink the 3D image down. And what we're looking at here in this large area here is the plan view looking down on the pipe in this section here this is a view cross section through where the probe position is on the pipe so to create a trade test we first of all have to create a defect the defects can be created by clicking on the one to eight buttons here we can draw any defect we want like that and then we have and that's as simple as that then we click OK so now we have one defect already created and this one we've just created now For the purposes of this test we'll just stick to one defect so I'll delete the one we just created Now we've got the defect there, we can see it clearly on full skip in the A scan and in the beam profile. We can go on to half skip, we can see the indication there. Now what we have to do now is hide the defects, give it their password, I'll give a simple one, one, two, three. And now the defects cannot be seen in the 3D image, or in the cross section, or in the plan view. But they can but still be seen in the A scan. The defects are still there and can only be detected with ultrasonic inspection. <clears throat> so if I unhide that, put in the correct password, one, two, three. If I did four, that's the wrong password, and wrong password. So to unhide it, I'd have to one, two, three. And there we can visually see the defect in plan view and cross section again. So to do a trade test, we would hide the defect, type in a very complicated password, but I'll just use one, two, three. Click OK. And then file save that configuration. We'll call it trade test. UT man one we'll save it now that is being saved we have to email that to the person doing the trade test so we just go into our email system compose and I'll send it to myself Attach that file. By the way, those files are always in this PC documents UT man, UT man files. Trade test, attach it. Give it a subject and send. So now we'll close the system down. Now we'll open it up again. It's a totally blank canvas because we're opening up UT Man again. It doesn't know our defects we had before. So now we are now the person doing the trade test. The person who set the trade test tells us they've sent us an email. 
So we will load that file. They go into their inbox, look for the trade test file, download it. This has been downloaded into downloads. And then we have to, this person who's doing the trade test will then open the file. Now, he's opened the file and he can now scan and look for the defect or indication that we have put into this weld. He can try and unhide it, but he doesn't know the password. We didn't keep it uh, simple like one, two, three. In a real situation, we made it complicated. So he cannot work it out. So now he can then scan the weld looking for the indication. There, we've seen it there. On the A scan. And he could, he can then start reporting. By the way, he should double check his calibration. So the calibration is a little bit out there. Yeah, always check the calibration. And check the uh, check the amplitude. Amplitude, yep. So now he can find the defect. There's the defect there. We can go to the edge of the defect. Which of the 60B drop for defect length can be seen here. And it tells us here on the circumference its position from 0 to 20. It starts at 20. So in a, in a, uh, only in a notebook or notepad, he could write defect 1 start at 20. Actually, it's in millimeters. It could be changed to inches. Then he finds the end of the defect. Well, go to the end. That's the end of the defect there. We can see here, it's telling us that the end of the defect circumferentially is about 50, uh, 55, maybe a bit less. 50, 53. So write it here in his notepad or whatever software he wants to write a report in. Defect one end at 50, 3 defect 1 length is therefore 33 millimeters now now it should give us a position of the defect and in a simple half skip uh, it could give us it if he just gave us the actual position, I'll reduce the amplitude a bit to maximize the echo. He could use the inbuilt plotter. You can see the standoff is already shown in the plotter, about 20 millimeters from weld center. We can read the A scan to show the beam path is 20 with the 60 degree probe. So 20 millimeters down the beam path here gives us a position here. Now from that, he can, he can see himself from the plot to the depth is uh, 10 millimeters 
and it's potting approximately well center. So then in his report, he then writes defect one depths and well center for position. Now that, that is, is probably enough. We can obviously ask a lot more defect height itself, which can be measured and other things. That information, which comprises his report, can then be emailed back to the person who set the trade desk. Compose mail, send it to myself. There's the results and send. I should put subject trade test one and send. So now the trade test can be assessed by the person who set the test itself. So that concludes that for now. And um, yeah, that, that basically concludes the basic system of how to set up a trade test and how the person receiving it will, will analyze the signals and report back the indications found. Subject perhaps to a uh, acceptance standard. Now the way that this can be monitored so that no cheating can take place is via Skype. The examiner, the person who set the trade test, can view the person doing the test on Skype and ensure that there is no cheating going on. And also at the, simultaneously within Skype, which is all free software, can see the screen image of the person conducting the test. So both see the image of the person and the image of the UT man screen while the test is actually being conducted. So this will prevent uh, cheating and ensure the integrity of the trade test.